Today, we're looking at linear phase EQ options in FL Studio. Generally, when you're EQing in FL Studio, you'd reach for something like Fruity Parametric EQ 2. This allows you to cut and boost as needed. When you make, say, a cut at a specific frequency, the phases of affected frequencies are altered. Now, this isn't usually audible but there are occasions where you may want to make an EQ change and need to be sure the phase information remains intact. So what are your linear phase EQ options in FL Studio? The first is non-real-time and it's in Edison. I'll just put it in spectral view so you can see what I'm doing. Then when you press the equalize button, you get the EQ tool so you can make specific EQ edits. I'll just cut everything above 10 kilohertz. What if you want to do real-time EQ adjustments? This is where Fruity Convolver can be used. Now you may think Fruity Convolver is a reverb, and it is. But it's also a linear phase EQ. To get into EQ mode, select from the presets linear phase EQ, short or long latency. We'll get into latency in a moment. I'll select short. Now you'll notice Fruity Convolver isn't changing the sound. As with Edison, we can use the EQ line editor to make specific EQ changes to the sound. But now it's real time. I'll just open Fruity EQ2 below it so you can see what I'm doing. But remember, you don't want Fruity parametric EQ in the chain when you're specifically after a linear phase result. So why don't we use linear phase all the time? Well, all linear phase EQs necessarily introduce significant latency. And you can hear it if I mix the Convolver linear phase EQ with the dry input. You can hear it as phasing. And if I select long latency, there's a clear delay. So it's not the sort of thing you want to set up on your regular insert mixer tracks. And as I mentioned, the regular EQ does the job 99% of the time. However, if you want to make EQ changes to a project and definitely need to preserve the phase information and or want to make the most transparent EQ change possible, then you can use Edison's EQ or Fruity Convolver. Remember, most EQs used in music production are not linear phase. It's not something you need to worry about too much unless you have a specific reason to use EQ with phase fidelity. Until next time, enjoy linear phase EQ.